The theory of DNA damage induced aging posits that the process of aging is a consequence of the incompletely mended accumulation of organic deamylation of organic damage. DNA damage refers to alterations that deviate from normal structure. While both mitochondrial and nuclear DNA damage can contribute to aging, this theory primarily focuses on nuclear DNA. It postulates that nuclear DNA damage could contribute to aging either indirectly by increasing apoptosis, programmed cell death, or cellular senescence, biological aging, or directly by escalating cell dysfunction. Numerous scholarly articles have established that deficient DNA repair, resulting in greater DNA damage, causes premature aging while enhanced DNA repair promotes longevity. For instance, studies involving mice models with nucleotide excision Repair syndromes display an evident link between the levels of specific DNA repair impairment and rapid aging progression. This implies a causal connection. Occurrences of single nucleotide polymorphisms in DNA repair genes in humans, which cause an increase in their expression, also correlate with longevity. Existing models have reported premature aging features all as a result of different DNA repair defects. A comprehensive review and evaluation of the DNA damage theory of aging show that individuals aged 100 to 100 to 107 demonstrated higher levels of two specific DNA repair enzymes, Parapone and Q70. This supports the idea that enhanced DNA repair extends lifespan in conclusion. They affirmed that while the assortment of responses to DNA damage were poorly understood, the concept of DNA damage accumulation causing aging remained plausible. In mammals, DNA damage is frequent and DNA repair mechanisms have developed to rectify this. Estimates indicate that DNA lesions occur 25 to 115 times per minute per cell, or about 36,000 to 160,000 per cell per day for mice. Despite these repair processes, some DNA damage may persist in the cells, more so in non-replicating or slowly replicating cells like those in the brain, skeletal, and cardiac muscle. To fully understand the DNA damage theory of aging, it is crucial to distinguish between DNA damage and mutations, the two primary types of DNA errors. DNA damage, unlike mutation, is a physical anomaly which can be recognized and corrected by enzymes if the complementary undamaged DNA strand or undamaged sequence in a homologous chromosome is available for copying a cell can prevent gene transcription and thus block protein translation if it retains DNA damage, which in turn could obstruct replication or cause cell death reduced function. A characteristic of aging is associated with the accumulation of DNA damage and will be further discussed. Considering the characteristics of DNA damage and mutation, such damage presents a unique issue in non-dividing or slowly dividing cells, as damage that isn't repaired tends to build up over time. However, in cells dividing quickly, DNA damage that doesn't kill the cell or stop cell division often leads to replication mistakes and mutations most mutations, most mutations, if not neutral, can harm cell survival. In a tissue collection of replicating cells, these mutant cells will likely be removed rarely. Mutations providing a survival benefit can expand, potentially causing cancer as this advantageous to the cell is disadvantageous to the whole organism. Therefore, DNA damage in frequently dividing cells is a leading cause of cancer, while DNA damage in infrequently dividing cells likely leads to aging. This theory of DNA damage being the primary cause of aging was first proposed by Alexander in 1967 and by the early 90s. It garnered significant experimental support, especially oxidative DNA damage being a significant cause of aging. From 1970 to 1977, P. V. Narasim Acharya proposed the theory of irreparable DNA damage, where DNA crosslinks occur if normal repair processes fail and no cell death apoptosis happens. He underscored that this would result in cell death or mutation. As we age, DNA damage increases in cells that don't or infrequently divide. This can result in loss of cells or gene expression within surviving cells. Studies have indicated that oxidative DNA damage is particularly influential. Accumulated DNA damage is usually measured directly, and the decline in gene expression can be tracked at both the mRNA and protein levels. The brain, primarily comprising non-dividing neurons, often displays aging symptoms due to a decrease in neuron function. Accumulation of DNA damage has been reported in mammalian brains of various species, including humans. Rutten et al. 
demonstrated that single-strand breaks in DNA increase in mouse brains with age. The level significantly increases within rates as they reach over two years in age. This accumulation contributes prominently to the aging process. The study concluded that DNA damage could potentially undermine the functions of specific genes responsible for learning, memory, and neuronal survival. This initiates an early onset of brain aging in adult life. In humans and various other species, factors like muscle strength and the capacity for continuous physical efforts see a gradual decline with aging. The composition of skeletal muscle largely consists of multinucleated myofibers, which originate from the fusion of mononucleated myoblasts. A noticeable accumulation of DNA damage in the muscles of mammals has been reported since 1971 in about 18 studies. Hamilton and his team discovered that oxidative DNA damage, known as 8 odge increasingly builds up in numerous body organs, the heart, skeletal muscles, brain, kidney, and liver, in both rates and mice, as they age a similar phenomenon of increasing 8 o odge with age was reported in human skeletal muscles. An enzyme called catalase helps eliminate hydrogen peroxide, a form of reactive oxygen species, thus limiting oxidative DNA damage. Through upregulation of catalase expression, specifically in the mitochondria of mice, the level of oxidative DNA damage in skeletal muscles witnessed a significant reduction and in lifespan increased by approximately 20. This indicates that mitochondria mainly 20. This indicates that mitochondria play a crucial role in inducing oxidative damages, thereby contributing to aging. As DNA damage obstructs gene transcription, Protein synthesis and degradation in skeletal and heart muscles are generally expected to decline with age. Peace it out. 2005. Discover changes in protein expression in age rate skeletal muscles, including a decline in proteins associated with myosin and actin, the driving forces behind striated muscle movement. Liver hepatocytes, though appearing to be terminally differentiated, retain the ability to multiply when injured. Aging brings along a decrease in liver mass, reduced blood flow, impaired metabolism, and alterations in microcirculation. At least 21 studies have recorded a rise in DNA damage in liver with age 1 example is Helbach et al. Is Helbach et al.'s finding that the level of oxidative DNA base alterations in rate liver cells increased threefold as they age. When DNA double strand breaks were induced in young mice, they exhibited multiple symptoms of aging matching those observed in untreated older control mice. In the kidney, aging brings about a decrease in renal blood flow and glomerular filtration rate and impairments in the ability to concentrate urine and conserve sodium and water. Studies have consistently shown that DNA damages, particularly oxidative ones, increase with aging, with Hashimoto et al. demonstrating that 8 odge accumulates in rat kidney DNA over time. The central theme of this passage revolves around theories and research into the causes of aging, with a particular focus on how DNA damage and mutations can influence this natural process. The health and longevity of our hair follicles, a familiar sign of aging, are said to be influenced by the accumulation of DNA damage in the stem cells responsible for their renewal. Some theories suggest that, rather than simply being damaged, DNA experiences mutations that are the primary catalyst of aging. Comparisons of mutation rates in various mammals indicate an intriguing correlation between the mutation rate and lifespan, potentially suggesting an evolutionary influence restricting mutation rates through DNA repair pathways. However, it seems mutations in cells frequently replicating due to damaged DNA template could lead to cancer. Interestingly though, mouse studies showed no uptick in brain mutation with aging. Even mice with a defective PIMS2 gene responsible for DNA correction didn't showcase expedited aging despite elevated mutation rates conversely. Mice with specific DNA repair pathway defects showed premature aging but without elevated mutation. Mutations specifically in mitochondrial DNA are also implicated as potential causes of aging. That said, mice with defects in their mitochondrial DNA replication did not exhibit noticeably advanced aging. Summatively, these observations challenge the notion of mutations being the primary cause of aging. Studies into the effects of caloric restriction, particularly in rodents, underscore a correlation with slower aging and extended lifespan, evident through reduced 8 odge damage. If this theory holds, humans with DNA repair impediments should, by extension, age faster than those without, thus supported by conditions like Werner syndrome, 
Hutchinson, Guilford progeria, and Cockaine syndrome, all of which are characterized by premature aging. The cause, for example, in Werner syndrome is found in a defective enzyme engaged in DNA repair, supporting the theory of aging's link to DNA repair efficacy and susceptibility to damage or mutation. The central theme revolves around the correlation between DNA repair defects and the manifestation of premature aging symptoms. Numerous inherited human syndromes like ataxia, telangiectasia, Nijmegen breakage syndrome, Expoderma pigmentosum subgroups, trichothiodystrophy, Fanconi anemia, Bloom syndrome, and Rothmund. Thomson syndrome all showcase this correlation in addition. Experiments conducted on mice with genetic DNA. Repair defects also exhibit signs of accelerated aging and shorter life expectancy. In particular, mutant mice deficient in Q70, QEAT, or both, show a markedly reduced lifespan. Despite exhibiting the same aging signs as regular mice, these mutants age significantly earlier, with a lifespan averaging 37 weeks compared to the 108 weeks typical of non-mutant mice. The absence of an uptick in cancer rates suggests that Q70 and QD, which combine to form the essential Q protein, are crucial to the DNA repair mechanism, particularly the non-homologous N-joining. Nagy A pathway this discovery indicates that Nagy plays an important role in assuring longevity. In depth studies across different mammalian species, including shrews, mice, rates, hamsters, cows, elephants, and humans, have also shown a correlation between enhanced DNA repair proficiency and lifespan extension. A study by Burkle and colleagues on a specific enzyme essential for single-strand DNA repair reaffirmed this relationship. They discovered that the enzyme's activity coordinates well with the species' lifespan across 13 different mammals. A comparative study was carried out on the DNA repair transcripts found in human, naked mole, rat, and mouse livers. Notably, humans and naked mole rats, both of which have a significantly longer lifespan compared to mice, showed an increased expression of DNA repair genes additionally. Several DNA repair genes additionally, several DNA repair pathways were upregulated in these longer-lived species. These results underscore the potential role of proficient DNA repair in promoting longevity. Studies have found that cell lines derived from people who have lived over 100 years, centenarians, demonstrate greater activity levels of the poly adape ribose, polymerase P PARP, a DNA repair protein, than those from younger individuals, 20 to 70 years old. These cell lines from centenarians share similar traits with those of younger individuals both in their ability to initiate repair mechanisms following H2 sublethal oxidative DNA damage and in their PARP capacity. Concerning female aging, there's a observed decrease in reproductive capabilities that eventually results in menopause. This decline correlates with a decrease in the number of ovarian follicles, since only approximately 500 of 6 to 7 million oocytes present at mid-gestation in the human ovary eventually ovulate, with the remainder being lost. The reduction in ovarian reserve seems to increase with age, and by the age of around 51 is virtually exhausted an increase in failed pregnancies. And chromosomally abnormal conceptions accompany the decline in fertility and ovarian reserve. The genes Bercone and Bercatwu have a key role in homologous recombination repair. Kutluk Okte M. et Ph.D. proposed the theory of declining at mediated DNA double-strand DNA break Desby repair and oocyte aging due to his findings that women with BRCA mutations produced fewer oocytes in response to ovarian stimulation repair. Further studies from his laboratory provided insight. The decline in ovarian reserve with age. They found that older women accumulated double-strand breaks in the DNA of their primordial follicles. And this is due, in part, to the age-related decline in the ability to repair these damages. Females with an inherited Brayson gene mutation undergo menopause at an earlier age, suggesting that DNA damages in oocytes are not as efficiently repaired in these women, leading to premature reproductive failure. This was further confirmed by the analysis of the genomic data from approximately 70,000 women. The narrative centers around the frequent endogenous DNA damages that occur in humans, highlighting that this includes an average of about 10,000 oxidative damages per day and 50 double-strand DNA breaks per cell cycle. 
Major focus is on the role of the methylation enzyme dim tone, which is often found at sites of oxidative DNA damage and leads to DNA methylation to mitigate transcription during repair. The drawn out process of DNA repair could also lead to changes in the expression of a repair gene. While hypermethylated promoters tend to return to their previous methylation status once DNA repair is complete, some suggest that this process might occasionally cause lasting epigenetic changes and gene silencing after DNA repair. The story further delves into the rare occurrence of the dinucleotide cytosine followed by guanine, CPG, in human and mouse DNA, and how most of these sites have cytosines that are methylated to form 5-methyl cytosine. KP islands, identified as somewhat deviating from the genomic standard, are predominantly non-methylated. Approximately 70 of gene promoters near a gene's transcription start site contain a CPG island, and if these are eventually methylated, it leads to the associated gene's permanent silencing. As the narrative progresses, it informs that methylation of most CPG sequences gradually declines after adulthood and during the aging process, a phenomenon referred to as epigenetic drift. Interestingly, KPG islands controlling promoters tend to become more methylated with age. A connection between the gradual accumulation of methylation at CPG islands in promoter regions and aging has been suggested, which has led to the development of an epigenetic clock. Toward the end, an interesting conjecture is introduced, a possible link between the epigenetic clock and the epigenetic changes occurring post-DNA repair. Unrepaired DNA damage and methylation of CPG islands may both contribute to gene silencing and interference with protein expression which could in turn contribute to signs of aging.